Welcome to Taiji's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make three side dishes using cucumbers. So cucumbers are probably one of the vegetables that you can find pretty much anywhere in the world and nowadays you can probably find them throughout the year. But for those who have done a little bit of gardening may know that this is actually a summer vegetable and therefore they taste much better in the summer and they also contain more nutrients in the summer. And also within the philosophy of the Eastern medicine, the vegetable or fruit that grows in the summer have the nutrients that your body needs for the summer and it has the effect of cooling down your body. So this is also another perfect reason to eat a lot of cucumbers for the summer. And today I'm going to show you two dishes using raw cucumbers, strictly vegetarian. And third, I'm also going to cook some cucumbers with meat, which can be made for the main dish. So I hope you give these dishes a try. Then, let's get started. Here are the ingredients for three side dishes using cucumbers. So these cucumbers that you see here uh, may be a little bit smaller than the, some cucumbers that you may know. In Japan, uh, these are kind of the cucumbers that you'll find. And I personally don't like those uh, big, like really big, long cucumber. Uh, those big cucumbers, I think they taste a little bit thinner. And I personally like these small cucumbers because I think they taste much better. But of course, you can make these dishes using any cucumbers. And for the first dish, I have dried wakame seaweed. If you can't get hold of these, then you can also make it without it. And then I also have roasted sesame seeds, and for the seasoning I have salt and ponzu. And if you don't have ponzu, then you can make this very easily with 1 to 1 ratio of soy sauce and citrus juice. Then for the second dish, I have a piece of ginger and garlic, and then also sesame oil. And for the third dish, I have ground up pork meat, and for the seasoning I have soy sauce, and I'm also going to use a little bit of starch, any starch will do, just to make the sauce a little bit more creamier. Then, let's start cooking. So, the first thing I'm going to do is put some water in the dried wakame. So, I'm just going to pour some water and let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes. While we wait on that, I'm going to cut up the cucumbers. So, take the top and the bottom off, and then just try to cut them up as thin as possible. If you have a slicer, then you can of course use slicer. So what I'm doing is that I'm kind of cutting like what's called cat's paw. I'm not having my finger like this. Instead, I have like this top knuckle putting on here and I'm sliding my finger slowly backwards like this. So that it'll be cut up as evenly as possible. Then here I'm gonna put in half a teaspoon of salt and just kind of sprinkle around. And then we're gonna let it sit like this for five to 10 minutes or so. So 10 minutes has passed. You can see that the wakame has soaked up the water and also that the cucumbers have lost their water and got a little bit soggy. So we're gonna very lightly wash this both. So for the wakame, I'm just gonna squeeze this water out. Try to get as much water out as possible. So that's that. And then this, you want to wash out those salt because you don't want to have it too salty. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water on it like this. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to also squeeze the water out. So that's enough. And then we're going to just mix them together. And then here, I'm going to put in one tablespoon of ponzu sauce. Like I said, if you don't have ponzu sauce, then you can make this very easily with 1 to 1 ratio of lemon juice and soy sauce. And then here, 1 teaspoon of sesame oil. And then you can sprinkle how much sesame seeds as you want. I usually put in like 1 to 2 tablespoons. Sesame seeds have a lot of umami, so it gets much tasty when you have a lot of sesame seeds. And this is finished. So then let's make the second dish. So this is probably the easiest dish to make and I make this quite often. So I'm gonna cut up the top and the bottom. You can cut this up also, but I want to break up the cells. So I'm gonna place a knife over it like this and I'm just gonna hit it very lightly, not too hard. By doing this, it'll break up the cells and allow the sauce to soak in much better. And I'm just gonna kind of cut it into pieces like this. I'm doing the rangiri, the the random cut like this and then and then in this I'm gonna smash in the garlic and the ginger and by the way if you're using garlic smasher I found out that 
you can just put in like this with the skin on then the skin doesn't come out so I'm just gonna go in like this and then like so and then you'll left with the skin on inside like this and I'm also gonna cut up some piece of ginger cut up some dried part ginger also and then this I'm gonna put in two teaspoons of soy sauce and two teaspoons of sesame oil and then I'm just gonna kind of mix it very lightly and then at the end I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of sesame on the top this is garnish and so this is finished very easy then let's make the last dish. I'm gonna take off the top and bottom. Now I'm gonna cut this so-called rangiri, which means random cuts. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a cut and then kind of turn 90 degrees or so. Cut, 90 degrees, cut, 90 degrees, cut. So you have like a kind of random, kind of neat form. Oh yeah, I forgot. So I'm gonna have to prepare the ginger. Just gonna peel the ginger. And then use the garlic smasher. So I'm gonna fry this. I'm going to turn the heat to high. So I often use a pot for frying, not necessarily a frying pan. So the problem with the frying pan, it's, it's so shallow, it's flat, so that a lot of things can spray. But if you use a pot like this, then you have the side, so a lot of things doesn't go outside. So I like using pot for frying. And here I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of sesame oil. And then in this, I'm gonna put in the ginger. So as this is lightly getting fried, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the pork meat. So as the pork is getting heated, I'm gonna put in the cucumbers. I'm gonna turn the heat to medium. While this is getting heated, I'm gonna mix the starch and the water. So in a separate small dish, I'm gonna mix in two tablespoons of water and also in here, about a teaspoon of starch. And then mix this lightly like this. And then in this, I'm gonna put two teaspoons of soy sauce. And then just give it a little mix and then here I'm gonna put in the water with the starch make sure you mix this before you put in otherwise the starch will stay in the bottom so this is finished I'm gonna turn the heat off and then let's put this on a plate so the three dishes are finished let's eat Okay, let's eat. Itadakimasu! So let's start with the cucumber with wakame seaweed. Itadakimasu! Mmm, mmm, mmm. a great combination with the cucumber and wakame seaweed and all mixed up in this ponzu sauce. This sourness is really refreshing in this hot summer. Mmm. And then let's have the cucumber mixed with ginger and garlic. Egg moss. Mmm. Mmm. Just kick from the ginger and the garlic. It's really perfect with the cucumber. Because cucumber itself doesn't have a very strong flavor to it. But mixed with ginger and the garlic. With the soy sauce and the sesame oil. Oh, this is great. Mmm. Then let's have the last dish. Cooked cucumber. Yagmas. Mmm. Mmm. And this also matches with rice really well. So I saw this recipe a while back ago and I thought cooking cucumber was so insane. Why would you want to cook cucumber when it's good to be eaten raw? But I just kind of gave it a try and it was actually very delicious. So it's kind of similar to zucchini but has a little bit slight different flavor to it and I think it matches really well with pork meat like this. So hope you give it a try as well. 
Mm. So please don't be offended by picking up the plate like this. In Japan, this is very common to eat. So as you might have noticed, when you have different dishes like this in Japan, which is the most case, we are supposed to eat so-called triangle eating. So you go to one dish, you go back to the rice, and you go to another dish, you go back to the rice, you go to another dish, and then back to the rice. And so like rice is always like the base. So inside the Japanese table manner, you're not supposed to eat one dish to the end, and then finish that, and then to the next, and then finish that, and to the next. No, you're supposed to go with one dish, and then back to the rice. And then to another dish, and then back to the rice. And to another dish. And back to the rice. So if you ever have a chance to go to Japan and eat there, then I suggest you do that. Ah, that was delicious. Go so 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 as you saw, these dishes are very easy to make and also very perfect for a hot summer. So I hope you give it a try. If you like what you saw, please hit that like button. Or if you have any comments or requests, please write anything in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.